Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris with Expose the Wild, and this video is, uh, it's more of a, a quick tip video than it is anything else. As you can see, I'm not anywhere near the Airstream. We're actually in Pennsylvania on a bit of a road trip. Wesley well, has a couple meetings here in the States, but uh, I wanted to make a video that covered just the uh, kind of a public service, a little bit of a quick tip. Uh, actually, I like that. We'll call it an Expose the Wild quick tip. And uh, this tip is more about your tow vehicle than anything else. So yesterday I rotated the wheels on my truck and uh, it's always suggested that you retorque your lug nuts after you rotate your wheels. And you should be rotating your wheels fairly regularly to uh, extend the life of your tires. So I thought I would travel a couple hundred kilometers that is suggested and then retorque my wheels here in a video and we will see how required it is. Uh, if I retorque them with the camera running, we'll be able to see any of the lug nuts that, act, that actually uh, move a little bit or if they're all still perfectly torqued. So let's uh, let's retorque the wheels and see how they're all looking. All right, so I have my torque wrench here set at 130 pounds, which is my uh, manufacturer's suggested torque spec for my wheels. And uh, what we're looking for is for the torque wrench to just make a click right away, letting us know that all the lug nuts are 130 pounds. Uh, but we're going to see if any of them move uh, or if they're all still good. So I have a key that we're going to put on the lug and then we're going to check for torque. That's what we want to hear right there is that immediate click telling us we're still good. That one gave me the ever slightest bit of a turn. That one's good. There we go, good. Perfect, so that wheel was good. None of the, uh, none of the lugs really moved at all. Okay guys, so that's it. I retorqued uh, all the lug nuts on my truck about 200 kilometers, 250 kilometers uh, after I rotated the wheels. And at, I don't, it was kind of hard for you to notice, but I did have two lugs that gave, uh, I don't know, maybe a quarter turn, half turn, uh, and, then, and then were proper torque spec. And this is why I feel like this gets ignored a lot. You, Anytime you have a, ve a wheel off your vehicle for any reason whatsoever, you should always either retorque them yourselves or have them retorqued a couple hundred kilometers after driving on them. Uh, if, if you have one lug nut come loose, that just that one lug can over time cause all the rest to come loose and that's where you run into uh, real serious mistakes. So that's it for today. We're going to carry on our, uh, our on the way here. I apologize for all the noise in the background, but like I say, I had to get those retorqued 200 kilometers uh, after having the wheels off the truck. So uh, I thought I'd make this quick video about it and I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more uh, quick tips about trucks, you know, or pulling RVs. And of course, if you want to uh, continue to follow along on my Airstream rebuild. See you later.